The reason I'm so happy is because we've just arrived in Gangnam and we found this really cool rooftop and we've come here for two reasons. The first one is because our posh friend Aaron said there's a really cool street with loads of bars and restaurants and street food and loads of neon lights. So we're gonna try and find that. And also, Joe came here because he had a date. If you saw the video where we had the night out in Hongdae, he met a girl outside Macaroni when we were freestyling the bar. 25 is a lifestyle platform. It's How was your date, mate? It was good. <laughs> We've also got a three-quarter moon and there's a planet there. What planet do you think that is, Raph? Jupiter, 100%. Jupiter? The moon and Jupiter, baby. The Seoul skyline looks so cool when it's all lit up. You can see over there on the other side is Namsan Tower. And down this way is all of Gangnam. And we're gonna head down here. You can see how lit up it is. It's a quite nice view, isn't it? It's, decent. it's nice, isn't it, hey? Whoa, these views are even cooler on this side. A lot of people have been commenting on the videos asking us to explore Hanamdong. We are going to go there, we just need to find the right time. But if there's anywhere in Seoul you'd like us to go, let us know in the comments section below. A cool suburb you want to know more about, somewhere you've not been before, somewhere you used to live in the past, just let us know in the comments section and we'll make an exploration video there. And you can find it in the Exploring Seoul Suburbs playlist. Gangnam is here. The Han River is just north of it. Aaron lives in Nohyeon up here and he said that this red part of the map which goes up towards Nonhyeon and then to the right this is where we can find those markets so we're gonna have a wander through the back streets here and try and find some street food and just get to know this area a little bit better we're walking down one of the streets now that are red on the map and it smells so good I can just smell barbecue flowing into my nose holes. So I might not eat street food, I might just get some barbecue instead. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm so excited to put food in here. I just had a look online and this street that we're walking down now is the main street of Gangnam where all the bars, restaurants and nightlife is. And it's heaving. I can't imagine it was like this before November 1st, but now the rules have changed. It's busy. But I doubt we're gonna stay here after 10 o'clock because it's kind of far away from where we live. It's like an hour away. Here you can kind of see what I was trying to show you on the map. Gangnam Station's down here on the other side of the main road where we've just been walking. And then if you cross over here and go towards Nokyon, I'm blocking the car. Sorry, mate. Sorry. If you follow the road down here towards Nonyon, this is full of neon lights and loads of things to see and do. So we're going to head down here and see what we get up to. <laughs> Gangnam is well known for being an expensive area, but if you want to come here and have a few drinks and not spend a lot of money, you go to the Pyeongchang. This is the GS25, and just get some Macaulay. Shout out to Mo Says. Oh, sorry, I'm blocking all the cars today. Chess Army Da! Bloody hell. If you're drinking a lot of Macaulay, then you're going to be needing to do a lot of pee pees, but it's really hard to find toilets in Korea. The best option is to go to the subway station. But we've been lucky enough to find a PC bag. And this one is huge. Let me show you around it quickly. I can imagine you'd never want to leave this place. It's huge. It's like a subterranean dungeon, but it's really clean. Everything, yeah, it's like, really everything clean. is like top of the line. Mm -hmm. yeah. It even smells good in here. <laughs> yeah. We thought it was going to be like a grotty, gringy little basement yeah. place, but it's really nice. Like, there's neon lights lining the floors and it's white tiles 
This nice is, paint. This is why Korea is like the number one gamer country. Mm -hmm. It's just how they produce the champions. Places like this. I can't get over how cool this is. It makes me want to become a gamer. <laughs> how do you get out of it? Stuck here. <laughs> Where did we come from, mate? We're lost by design. They even got an underground smoking area for people. Yeah. Mate, how the hell do we get out of this place? <laughs> We're lost. We're literally lost in a PC bag. This is crazy, man. It's just never ending. It's like a maze. Did we come out in this way? I think we came in this way, mate. <laughs> oh yeah, we did, yeah. Because we came down some Shiba! We came down some stairs trying to find a toilet and this Ajoshi was shouting at us like, where are you going, where are you going? Like, yeah, we're off to the PC bank, mate. You can see it's an absolute mission trying to find somewhere to go to the toilet in Korea. <laughs> Two or three hours oh, on train. Oh, he goes to Frankfurt. Yeah, that's his hometown, but he's living in Berlin. I like it a lot more when you leave Gangnam area and head north like, towards uh, Nonyon because there's more street food stores well, like this. It does that kind of thing like? Uh, and that top off he looks really good. It's quite a lot of money, Chris. That's good, yeah. yeah. This is the street where we are. We're gonna head down here and get some foods. This is where we've walked to now, so we're going to keep heading north towards Nonhyun Station and then where it gets a lot redder, we're going to take a right. Being so close to Gangnam, it's kind of weird to see a local market like this selling fruit and veg and top, which is this sticky rice cake and spices and stuff like You'd expect this to be in the centre of Seoul, but not this close to Gangnam, but to be fair this does feel like an upmarket market because the streets are very wide, it's very clean, the awnings are all the same colour. If you were to go to another market, they'd have those multicoloured umbrellas and they'd look really old and discoloured. So even though this market is here, which is surprising, it does kind of feel like an upmarket local market, if that makes sense. I'm blocking cars again. <laughs> If you follow the channel, you know I'm always talking about Kimbap Chongguk. There's one here. They have them everywhere. Kimbap Chongguk. Kimbap Heaven. Aaron, so you live around here. I do. This is my ends. My ends. These are your ends. Indeed, yeah. So they have lots of street food around here? Yeah, there's a traditional food market just on the street. <laughs> the one we just walked through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it a lot busier during the day? Yeah, yeah. It's full of like <clears throat> locals and old people. I was really surprised to find it in Gangnam. Yeah, yeah. Because I was I, saying that before. I associate Gangnam with like high rises and plastic surgery and cocktail yeah, bars. Same. But right in the heart of Gangnam, there's a, a traditional market. It's really nice. It's really nice. I'm so sorry, I follow you on YouTube. Oh. I really like it. Hi. It's like an all day, all day music festival. We're trying to find Kyochon chicken. Let me look it up this friendly gentleman is helping us out. My, my girlfriend's so embarrassed that I'm coming up to you guys. Whoa, really why? Oh, Thank you so much. My girlfriend doesn't speak English. Yeah, she's just shy. Are you? Are you? Uh, you guys are from England? Great Britain, Scotland, Ireland, yeah. England. 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 Yeah. Thank you. You're so kind. Uh, you guys just visiting visiting here or what? We've been here for two years. <laughs> We're just pabo pabo. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I live, I live in London. Yeah, we don't, we don't live around here. So. 저는 상수동에서 oh, okay, 살아요. Nice. 상수동. 감사합니다. Oh, <laughs> 감사합니다. I live in America for a long time. I always uh, uh, you know, uh, envious for sexy English accent, you know? Oh. Is, uh, Americans always... <laughs> we finally found it. It's called Kyochon Chicken, but we've got to finish our makali and then we can go inside and finally have some food. I've eaten nothing all day. I've had some peanut butter on bread and some kimbap. So I have eaten something, but I've had nothing all day. You know what I mean. Before November 1st, if you went to a restaurant, you had to be less than four people. Now you can be more, and you're supposed to scan your vaccine passport, but nobody's asked us. It's been a week, and everywhere we've been to eat some food, 
nobody scanned it. So I think that's kind of the rule, but nobody really follows the rules. We're all vaccinated, we all have our passports, but nobody's asked it for us, so whatever. I'm so happy that that is there to protect me from Corona. Oh, we got some beers. Thank you. God, I love Korea. I love Korean food, I love Korean alcohol, I love Korean culture, I love the history, I love the city, I love everything Korean. I think this is the best chicken I've had in Korea, honestly. So good. So good. Mm. Wow. And this is boneless spicy chicken. They're both boneless. This is like naturally fried chicken. Oh, do that dance. 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 Chicken, chicken, chicken. We got the boneless southern fried chicken and the boneless spicy fried chicken and the beer in my mouth. Chicken was a good option. There's a lot of chicken restaurants in Korea, but honestly, this is the best chicken I've had whilst I've been here. Honestly, it's so good. <laughs> We've ordered some more beers so we can do a Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan, baby! <laughs> When you eat chicken in Korea, they give you these little cubes of radish and it's kind of sweet and fermented and it's perfect for cleansing the palate. So if you have a spicy chicken, have a few cubes of the radish and then you can go on to the next chicken. It's like the perfect side dish and whenever you eat chicken in Korea, you're always going to get served the mu, which is a Korean word for radish. I love it. Some people hate it, but I love it. I hate it. Don't get it. Stinks. The chicken was absolutely fantastic. It was honestly probably the best chicken I've had, like the second best, but it was really good. So tonight we're gonna get a train home back to Yonan Park and keep passing because Seoul is open 24 7. So if you want to see more drinking videos, let me know in the comment section below. I'm just laying on the floor of the subway. But Here's Joe as well, sat here, laying here. Joe's laying on the ground as well. So, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you want to let us know where we should go in, in the next videos, let us know in the comment section below. And we're going to go home now and keep drinking. So, thank you for watching. I really love you so much. Yosh. I'm head of Dan and a Kuji, like Book and Sam.